Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Alan, and um, I'm here with a tutorial about how to make a slideshow. So what I have here are some pictures. So I just grabbed whatever ones off of my desktop, and I'm going to pretend like these are um, what I want to use in my slideshow. So I'm also going to want to make a... Um, a title in the very beginning, sorry. So I want to make a title first, so um, I'm going to go into the project panel, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to new item and go to title. I'm just going to name it um, just title and then using the type tool I'm going to click and um, let me choose a different, there we go. So I'm just going to write Alan's presentation and scale it up some and you know, center it. So this is of course up to however you guys want it, but so I'm just gonna write Alan's presentation. Then I've got my title here in the project. So whenever you drag something into a, like when you drag in a picture, it has a preset um, amount of time. So I'll show you guys. So when I click and drag it in here, as you can see it's um a little over four seconds long like, um, so that's the default when you drag something in now of course if I want this to be longer I could go to the timeline click and drag and extend it just like so um, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in all these pictures here so I'm gonna click and drag drag and drop drag and drop and then you of course bring these in in whatever order you want um, like whichever one makes sense for your presentation. Now, um, if there are black marks on the side like that, you can always um, change the, um, the scale of it. And if you don't want black marks on the edges, what I can do is e I can either increase it, and what that'll do is it zooms it in, or I can always uncheck the uniform scale and change the width, and what that does is it stretches the picture out a little bit, but you get the full frame gets filled in. So yeah, and then of course, like let's say I wanted to make this this um, part of the presentation longer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and select whatever comes past it, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. What that does is it gives us space to um, make this longer. So let's say we want it to be like double the length, just like that. So I'm going to click and drag and bring these back. So then if I press play, as you can see, We've got the picture and those other pictures. See, this one is zoomed in, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to go into the motion tab under the effect controls and I'm going to scale this. Just like so. And then um, also you're going to want transitions. So, what I find works best and looks the most professional transition is going to be dip to black. So if, if you go into the effects um, search bar right here, you can just type in dip to black, and here we have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag it and put it in between the two. See, you can put it on just that one, put it on just that one, or you can put it in between the two. Um, so I'm going to zoom in as I show you how I do it for the next one. So here's the next um, point where it changes pictures. So I'm going to click and drag the dip to black. And instead of just putting it on that one, on this one, or just on this one, I'm going to put it in between it, and there we go. So as you can see, it, it applies that professional looking transition. So I'm just going to quickly do the same. And then also, if you would want a audio track, what you would do is you just grab the audio from there and put on audio one, and then you would, um, you would cut, you would, uh, you just stop it wherever your video stops. So yeah, um, that's how to do a presentation. Also, if you wanted it to fade in, so instead of it just like starting abruptly, you could take dip to black and bring it to the beginning of the title. And so it gives it that that faded look. But yeah, so um, this is a bit of a beginner's tutorial, um, but if uh, for some reason you're looking to make a presentation for like a class or something like that, you can absolutely do it in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, 
It's just a little more difficult than something like Movie Maker, but you do have some more options available to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, I'm going to leave my Facebook page in the description so you guys can ask me any questions. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alan from Premier Pro Tips, and have a great day.